I had the tri square against the wood gives me a square corner, gives me a straight line across. Some of your pieces of wood might be at an angle, I exaggerate, at the top or bottom. If it does, come and see me, I will make it straight for you. Now, some people call it laziness, some people call it efficiency. I prefer the term efficiency. I can take my project and someone else's project, lay their project on the table, take my project, put it up against theirs, mine just standing up straight, theirs is laying flat, and I draw a line, and miracle of miracles, it will be three quarters of an inch away from the edge. The reason that is, is because this is three quarters of an inch thick. So I don't even have to do any measuring, although I am, technically. Save some time. If you want to measure with a ruler or a tri-square, that's fine. Doesn't bother me. I take my project, I stand it up straight, I take somebody else's project, I lay it flat, and I draw a line. My project is up straight, Somebody else's project is laying flat, and I draw a line. I will have two lines. Okay? I will take my project and put it into the vise. You want to have your project standing out so when you saw, it doesn't hit the table. If you have your project like this, you can't saw it. Look, the table's in the way, the vice is in the way. Over here, the vice is inset a little bit, so you have to have that a little farther. Make sure you don't cut the table. We only want to cut your project. I put it in the vice, keep it level, parallel to the earth, and I make it as tight as I can. I then take the sanding block and I lay it on top of my practice block and I take a C-clamp and clamp the C-clamp onto the practice block and sanding block. So it's like this. Sanding block is on the line. No, 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 we got a lot more to do. <laughs> okay, I'm just taking it out so you can see it quickly. Now, when you saw, you can keep your saw straight instead of letting it meander and go from side to side. You will need to cut halfway down. So I start cutting and some of you go, well, what is halfway? I take out a piece of wood, I take out a pen or a pencil, and I go halfway is about right here. That's about halfway. You can tell by looking. Just like you go into someone's house, and you see their pictures crooked on the wall, you don't need to get a level. You can just tell. The middle is three eighths away. Look at that. I didn't even measure, and I got it right. I just eyeballed it. You need to be standing, because otherwise you block the guy behind you. Okay? This is three-eighths because three-quarters is six-eighths. Half of six is three. We'll get to that if you don't understand. So I cut down halfway. I'm just going to eyeball it, and I'll show it again tomorrow. I just want to do a quick little demonstration. In fact, I won't even cut halfway down this time, and some people go, Mr. Morla, it's taking forever to cut this. And I say that's not true, because if it's taking forever, I would have 90-year-old students in here, mm -hmm. and I don't. I only have you. Chisels, here it is. 
Here's a chisel. This is a wooden mallet. You take the chisel, making sure that the slope of the chisel is facing up, because when you tap the chisel with the wooden mallet, you want the wood to chip up and away. If you have it upside down and you hit it with the wooden mallet, it could tear out a big piece of wood underneath it because it's going to push it down and away. And when you chip it up and away, the wood will come off where I have cut with the back saw. I go down about a thickness of a dime. I tap it. And miracle of miracles, here comes a piece of wood. No, 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 I said I not to do. Okay? And you go all the way across, only the thickness of a dime. And I use a little rhyme, a dime at a time. See? It just breaks free, chips off on the line that you cut. Once I get all the way across, I have to start over again. Go down about the thickness of a dime. And it comes off. Dime at a time. I need to see what time. <laughs>